Hey guys, today as usual we are in Golf Mark 7 with DSG transmission. This is DQ250 6 speed with uh, wet clutch pack. So I'm going to show you how to check the transmission fluid, the oil in the gearbox, how to check the temperature of it. Well, you might want to check it if you are um, currently changing the uh, transmission fluid or if you are performing some kind of adaptation or basic settings over here. Um, one of the requirements is to have those fluids in a certain range of temperatures. So let me show you how to do this. I'm using OBD11. I have the OBD11 application over here, which is already connected with the vehicle. And of course I have the OBD11 device over here connected to the diagnostic port. So with the app connected we are going over here to the bottom right to the list of all modules in the vehicle transmission is the second one and over here we are going to live data and in live data we have list of all the things that we can check from the transmission so let's use the search bar over here and enter temperature or temp and we have three things control module temperature transmission fluid from temperature and clutch splash oil temperature okay so Let's select maybe all of those, press done, and we have a readout from all those three. We have the control module at 60, transmission fluid at 53, and uh, clutch temperature at 53 also. So we can monitor the temperatures, and while we are um, doing the procedure of the um, oil replacement or basic settings, we can make sure that the fluids are within the certain range and of course if you are using your vehicle on track you can also um, uh, you can also check if those temperatures are not getting too high so this is the way to do this it's pretty pretty simple as you can see all you need to do is know what you are looking for and if you are um, scanning your vehicle with the engine on like me over here sometimes you might have a lot of faults over here like selector stuck in uh, gear one gear two gear three and so on this is completely normal this is how this gearbox will behave if you are trying to scan it uh, with uh, the engine on so uh, please um, don't be scared don't be alarmed just turn off the ignition turn uh, turn off the engine turn on the ignition repeat the scan and most likely you won't see those faults or those faults will be uh, marked as uh, sporadic so you can delay them delete them remove them and there will be no sign of them whatsoever okay hope that you like this simple tutorial uh, check my other videos about mark 7 and obd 11 subscribe for future ones and see you soon